yeah, today we're adding physics to models. All right, now we start with a blank new template. We're gonna go down to models and we're gonna grab a model to put in there. First up, I'm just, I'm grabbing a can. Cause cans are super easy and we can see it. Now I got one in there and it is just floating here. Now this is typically what happens. You put your items in there, you start with them kind of floating or you start with them on the ground. And then that's about it. You go in, you launch the game and look at that. It's just floating. It's just hanging out there. And that's that's not how cans should be, right? I, I mean, that's not how any cans work in my world. Can't shoot that with a shotgun, nope. So what did you do wrong? Well, super, super easy fix. Now you wanna click it, you wanna open up the object properties with Alt Enter, and instead of it just being a static prop, we're gonna make it a physics prop. Yep, that's, that's really it. Uh, I don't think it works for every single item. I think some of them might need to be dynamic physics and then some of them need to be prop physics. But as you see uh, underneath in the bottom of this panel, you can figure out pretty much all that information um, just by hovering over them and finding out what it is. Now you need to go in and kind of set anything you want to. If you look all the way at the bottom, you can set it so that it's grabbable. Um, you can kind of edit any of these parameters, kind of look into them. If you look online, all of these parameters have existed forever with the old source engine so you can find out what everything means but really that's all you got to do change it from static prop to prop physics and then when you hop into vr you'll be able to do this you can pick it up you can toss it around you can just kind of have a ball and all of your items are going to act as if they would in the real world and they're going to have real physics uh i'm not a juggler <laughs> i tried uh, but yeah really that's it i had a couple of people ask me that question so we looked it up today, we found out how to do it, and that's really it. Now, I don't know how to make your own objects and give them physics, but we're learning. I hope that helps, and if you make anything awesome, please share it with us. I'm Frank, it's The Game Show. We'll see you again soon.